Good afternoon, Anchor Lutheran School students, Anchor Lutheran School parents, and, and kids, whoever has a chance to see this video. We are hoping to bring songs to you and a message from God's Word that will remind us that no matter what's going on in our world right now, Jesus is with us. So I want to introduce Caleb. Thank you, Caleb, for being on the drums with me. And we are going to lead some songs. The songs we're doing today are songs that you probably know. So parents, I sure hope you join in with your kids, with your son or your daughter, or sons and daughters, and, and will join in singing with us as we sing together the songs that we're quite familiar with. We're going to start with Kids of the Kingdom. Kids of the kingdom, that's what we are. Kids of the kingdom, that's what we are. We love Jesus. We love the Lord. We love Jesus. We love the Lord. Good job. Praise to the Father, praise to the Father, praise to the Father. 
were gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'd like for you to pray with me, and I will say the prayer, and then you repeat the words after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for your love, your forgiveness, your presence in our lives during this time of seclusion. Keep us faithful to you in all we say and do. Jesus, in your name we pray. Amen. I would like to sing an old song about being Jesus' lamb. And the reason I'm doing that is because our scripture verse today will be coming from Matthew 19. And it will be a very familiar story. And I am Jesus' little lamb fits that story quite well. I am Jesus' little lamb, ever glad at heart I am, for my shepherd gently guides me, knows my needs and well provides me, loves me ever. you the verse that we're doing is from Matthew and it's Matthew chapter 19 verses 13 to 15 and if you get your Bibles I'm going to get a Bible so that I can read that to you okay I'm back with you I have my Bible and I hope that you have one as well and you can follow along with me now You may be reading a different version. Maybe it's a children's version or King James version or English translation, whatever. But I'm using the the English uh, standard version, the ESV, and it reads as follows. The children were brought to Jesus that he might lay his hands on them and pray. The disciples rebuked the people, but Jesus said, let the children come to me and do not hinder them. For such belongs to the kingdom of God. And he laid his hands on them and went away. You know, I brought a bunch of games here today and, and, and books. I, I have these books. You know, I can probably read books on my own, but sometimes it's nice to have books that, that have pictures in them so I can show pictures and, and read. And, and maybe you've got books at home that you can read to little brother or sister, or moms and dads, you have books that you can read to your children, and, and that way you're involved with each other and showing how important everybody in the family is. You may also have one of these at home, and while I have a different Bible, this is Faith Alive Bible, you could have used this to do the reading in today. Or maybe you are into puzzles. If you have puzzles at home, you can do things like this at home so you can have fun doing puzzles together as a family so you're not feeling so alone. But then there's also games that I love to play with other people. And and I think about it and I go, well, I have 
bingo. You can't do bingo with just a couple of people, maybe with your family if you've got a good-sized family. But it's kind of fun with a bunch of kids and friends because you get to see who wins the prizes and who, who doesn't win the prizes. Or maybe Jenga. Have you ever done Jenga where you stack them up? And that's really a lot of fun to see who gets stuck pulling one out and everything caves in on them. Or apples to apples. Apples to apples is a fun game. And, and you really need all kinds of groups or kids with you to make this even more fun. And then, of course, I didn't have a risk game, but that's my favorite. There's this Monopoly. I like Monopoly and I like risk because it takes a long time to play and I just love to win. Don't you love to win? Well, maybe winning isn't so important, but what is important is I always like to play games with friends. So at this time, we, we, we're not able to do that, and it helps us realize how important friends are or how important being with other kids in school are and, and how important it is for us to be a part of the group. You know, when everybody's playing a game like Monopoly or Apples to Apples or, or just reading books together, we don't like to be the one that's left out. We like to be the one that's with everybody else, having fun, doing the games. And I am reminded of that story we just read. Where the mothers were bringing their children to Jesus to have Jesus touch them, to have Jesus pray with, over them, and to, to recognize that their children are important. And the disciples were going, ah, get away. Jesus doesn't have time for you. You know, you're at home with your moms and dads a lot these days. And you probably realize that your moms and dads have been working a lot, and maybe they're not able to go to work now, and you get to see them more, and that's kind of fun for you, even though you know there's going to be a time when they have to go back to work. But at this time, it feels good to know that your mom and dad is with you and, and how much they love you. But Jesus told the disciples, don't you dare send those kids away. I want them to know how much I love them. I want them to know that even as I came for adults, I came for children too. My love and my forgiveness is for everyone. I went to the cross for everyone. I rose from the grave so that I could show everyone that I'm powerful enough to be not only their savior, but their friend. I have done this so that little children and big kids and older kids and adults, everybody can know that they belong. So the message that Jesus gives to us today is a message that we want to welcome in our lives, and that is we belong. We belong to Jesus. We belong to our families. We belong to our school. We belong to our friends. But even more important than that, when we see others, we want them to know they belong. When someone is alone and without friends, we want them to know they belong. Because Jesus invites all of us as his children so that we can know we are loved by him and we can love each other. So as you're home thinking about all those games that you can play, and I bet you came up with some other games too, I would sure like to hear from you as to what your favorite game is. You can send that message to your school and let your school know that you want to get that message to me and I'll be glad to follow up with that. Let's say a prayer. Gracious God, thank you for including each and every one of us as your children so that we can always show to others that we are loved and that you love them too. Jesus, in your name we pray, and we are able to pray the prayer you have taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now receive this blessing, this benediction, to remind you that wherever you are, in your homes, with your families, playing outside, even though you're six feet distant from other people, even though you're not able to go to all those fun places with all your friends, even though all this is happening, Jesus is with you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you his peace. Amen. I have one more song for you. And that song is pretty simple word-wise. It, it goes like this. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. And then when I get to the next part, it's let the praises of the king rise among us. Let the praises of the king rise among us. Then we go to let the songs of the Lord rise among us. It goes like this, and you'll catch on rather quickly. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the King rise.
Go in peace and serve the Lord, and we'll see you next time.